can see here one more term I have which is also known as DAHSH. It is nothing but dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP. By using HTTP, how I am going to send the packets? This is a new term for you by for using. So in this, what will happen in the server side and what will happen in the client side? In the server side, it will divide the video files into multiple chunks. We know the chunks is nothing but the set of packets. So we are going to divide all these uh, like files, the video file files into a chunks, into a set of files. And each chunk stored encoded at different rates. Suppose I have uh, divided my uh, chunks of the data into five. So first one, uh, when I'm sending, I will send it in different rates, data rates. Then I will send the second one, I will send in different data rates. And then third one, I will send in third data rates. In that way, what will happen is, if there will be network problem, then maybe the first chunk value has been reached. Second one is not reaching because of slow data rate value. But third one will get reached because of high data rate value. So we are doing in this way because not to uh, lose any of the uh, data. So that is also known as your manifest file. There is a call the name is there that is known as your manifest file where it will provide all the URLs for the different chunks. So by using this HTTP, different different URLs are there. We can send these different different chunks to the client. So in the client side, what will happen? Periodically measures, it will measure the bandwidth first from the server to client. Then it will consult to the manifest file. It will request one chunk of data at a time. You cannot send multiple chunk of data in the same time. You have to send only one chunk of data at a time. It will choose the maximum coding rate sustainable given current bandwidth. You have to choose the maximum coding rate. What maximum bitrate value you can send that data by using this manifest file to your client side. That's the reason we will use this manifest. And also it can choose different coding rates at different points in time different if you want to take your different different time suppose at one o'clock you have sent one chunks of data with a high data at value and again at two o'clock again second packets you are sending with a again high data rate value so in that way you have to send all the data at the same time uh, in different different times to the client side this is about your dash now one more thing is also there in intelligence at client, how the client can determine when to request the chunk, what encoding data rate you are going to send, where to request the chunk, all these things, when, what and where, all these things questions will be in your client side only. So how you are going to uh, find out the streaming video, you have to add the encoding data value plus your DSH, okay, that file manifest files that you have to add with the play out buffering. If you will add all these things together, you will get the streaming video.